Hello there, Pisces. One of the first messages that I'm feeling for you guys here is um, it basically feels to me as if I'm seeing a lot of you spending time with younger children or spending time with younger generations. So they could be children of yours or even like friends of your own children who are younger or even grandchildren. So I'm feeling like a household with a lot of children. I see a lot of people reading to them, like teaching them, you know, vocabulary from a newspaper or from a book. And I'm seeing like a lot of outdoor activities such as like cycling, biking, horseback riding, even gardening. A lot of projects that you're doing to t teach children about basic either survival skills or basic homemaking skills or even basic like, um, you know, like motor skills and basic, um, um, I, I feel like academic, you know, like uh, functions. So I'm seeing a lot of time with children and some of you might even be educators, but I'm seeing a lot more parents, grandparents, etc. Um, I feel that, you know, the energy about spending time with children is going to be actually very good for you to get in touch more with the creative side, to get in touch more with, and I mentioned this for the Virgo reading too. So if you happen to have Virgo rising um, moon or uh, a or sun sign, you might also want to supplement this reading with that um, Virgo reading as well. Uh, get Dealing heavily with children will allow us to get in touch with our inner child, with our creativity, with our sense of like, you know, being less critical about making mistakes, being less perfectionistic, being more forgiving of others, being more forgiving of ourselves, and being more able and willing to compromise with other people, being more open and willing to share, open and honest with our feelings as well. So I feel like that's coming through where there has been a, an extended period of time where you are spending with children and you're getting to the fundamental roots of like, it's okay to make mistakes once in a while. It's okay to not have to be perfectionistic all the time because children are carefree. They're innately very um, able to live in the moment. So I feel like if you have had a lot of anxieties, a lot of worries for whatever reason plaguing you in the past, and I feel for some of you, um, it could be like, you know, since December last year, for example, other since August of last year, I feel that you're trying to overcome it and you're trying to immerse yourself doing other activities, taking care of practical responsibilities as well. And then I feel others of you, there is an element here of concealing something as it relates to children. And I would advise you not to do that, okay? If you are in the, uh, if you are the guardian, or the person that is in charge of taking care of a child, make sure information comes to light and make sure that, you know, information concerning that child for whatever reason, if there is some, um, some uh, mishaps within the medical records, within their academic records for uh, enrollment in a specific school, make sure all the information is, um, for example, if they even have like food allergies, you need to disclose all these the information to the proper authorities as it pertains to children. So I feel like that is very, very vital for some of you, okay? Um, the third message that I have here is, um, I feel like a lot of you are in a situation where you want to walk away, but you're stuck in limbo. So for some of you, it could be taking after, like, um, I'm seeing, like, caretaking responsibilities when it pertains to, like, um, either an estate that was passed down to you. You want to sell it and you want to just get out of Dodge. Uh, for others, I feel like it's caretaking uh, responsibilities as it pertains to, like, um, I feel like an, uh, uh, an ailing child or, like, an elderly parent, and I'm seeing father father figures, I'm seeing mother figures, grandfather, grandmother, and I feel like it is emotionally quite taxing on you. And I see some of you, um, there might have been like a burial recently, somebody fallen ill, somebody passed away, and um, there's, I feel like emotionally you're not in the right space to handle, you know, the logistical aspects of like estate planning, of divvying up assets, because emotionally you're just... Uh, empty and so you brush off the responsibilities you brush it off you brush it off you brush it off and it doesn't get taken care of so I feel like there's some issues here 
about you know things needing to happen, things needing to be taken care of, but you're not in the right frame of mind, and you're just like, okay, I'll come back to it. It's too overwhelming. It's too inundating, or it's too it's too much right now. Take all the time that you need, and、uh, I feel like you know I trust that you will revisit it when you're ready. But if you have been brushing this off for quite some time because you just feel like、um, you can't manage it on your own, or for whatever reason you feel like emotionally you're distraught, and it has been ongoing for quite some time, I feel that it is important for you to reach out for assistance. Okay, I hope that makes sense, and I hope that you know which、uh, side of the coin you're on. If it's something chronic. And if it's something you've been sweeping under the rug for quite some time, it's really important to reach out for help. If it's something new and you're just like, I, I'm, I'm running on empty right now. I don't have the energy. I don't have the mental capacity, or even I don't have like you know the emotional investment to take care of it right now. You can wait on it and you know resume in August. Resume in a different time. That's fine. But if you've been running away from it. Then it's really important to seek some help because I feel like the task is not as bad, it's not as daunting as you think. Okay, it's not as bad.、Um, however, running away from it, I feel like it's a it's an avoidance issue, and it might be something that is chronic. It's not just specific to this situation. It feels like you might have been avoiding a lot of other things as well. So be very careful, okay, Pisces. Um, what I'm feeling overall is this:、um, I do sense your financial situation. It is going to turn around for you, and I keep seeing the month of August being a very, very good time where this situation will right itself. So, if you've had worries, if you are liquidating assets, if you're thinking about change of scenery, I do see the month of August is like as like the breakthrough month for many of you. And I feel like that's when things are going to start going your way. That's when you're going to be.、Um, Able to take care of all the the logistical stuff to allow you to move, to allow you to relocate, to put yourself in a new home, to like be freed from whatever holdups, whatever hangups, whatever decisions where your life was put on hold because it depended on another person. I feel like you're going to be literally just free from it by the August timeframe. Okay. I see August as a time when a lot of opportunities are going to be coming your way, and they're surrounding you. And I feel like by that time, you might actually be inundated by a lot of decisions, choices,、um, choosing the best from all the options. So I feel like you might be a little bit tongue-tied as to what to do, where to go, what to pick, what to leave behind, what to choose, and which direction to, you know, fly towards. So. Right now, you might just be going through this calm period, and that's when you know by August things will start happening、um, at the speed of light. I feel like things are happening very, very quickly after this、uh, this month. It's it's kind of like you know the calm, okay? And then good things are all bursting forth in that August time frame for you to be very swift and quick on the uptake, okay? So you have some really good things coming through, and I feel like it's a little bit frustrating this month because it seems like. It feels to me like、um, you can't make a decision. You 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 can't really physically remove yourself or do anything because you're waiting on the decision of another person. And、uh, I I see heavy heavy dealings here with、um, I I do see like exes. I do see family members. I see people in positions of authority. And I see some concealed information, and you're not sure if you should bring it up or if you should not bring it up. And I feel like you know, err on the side of honesty. Okay, for water signs, I always, always, always suggest err on the side of like it's uh it's it's always a good idea for you water signs overall to say like to overstate rather than to understate. Okay, so overstate like emphasize. Um. Get your point across, okay? Be very direct and clear. Get your point across. Say it multiple times if you need to, because I feel like、um, you guys like the the delivery. It, it's often not heard, or you know, try to be as direct as you can, okay? I, I feel like it's always safer for you guys, water signs, to overstate rather than keeping、uh, holding back, okay?、Um, so, is to avoid confusion. With the other party that whoever it is that you're dealing with, so 
I feel like there's um, not a lot happening in terms of like quick, swift momentum, but I do feel that um, it's it's a little bit of a lull, like a, a calm state before the August time frame, okay? So we have some really good things here. Take care of yourself, um, Pisces. I will be back for the May reading, okay? So enjoy the rest of your April. Take care. Bye-bye.